Oh, Sophie's so hot. <laughs> it's so cool. Excuse me? Sir? Oh, oh my god. Whoa. Holy crap. Hello, hello! Welcome in, everyone! Welcome in! Today, we are going to be finally playing the second half of the newest Honkai Star Rail 2.1 Penacony story. This is going to be the finale of this part. I am really, really excited. The first half was a lot of info. They gave us a lot of info, a lot of lore, a lot of uh, character development. So I am super, super intrigued to see where this is all going to lead. It sounds like Aventurine is up to not no good, but it sounds like he's up to something. He he's talked about a kind of big, a big finale of sorts. So maybe we'll see that. I'm I'm really excited. I can't wait to see it. Also, eventually in, <laughs> in a little bit of trouble right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm super super duper excited. I yeah I I, I just I'm excited and I can't wait to start. <laughs> but yeah yeah yeah. I personally feel like. They can't really surprise me anymore. I know that is just me. Eat I'm going to eat my own words soon. I'm pretty sure about that. But I feel like, you know, it's like, what, what can they possibly show us? You know, they killed Robin. They killed Firefly. They're killing Aventury. How can they possibly make us cry even more? Huh? Huh? What are they going to do? Kill the rest of the cast? <laughs> We'll see. We'll see, Shaoji. What We'll see what you're up to. But yeah, I'm excited to start. So yeah. Let's get right into it. Real quick before we start though, please again make sure to smash like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys enjoy. Otherwise, you too will get cursed by the harmony and cease to exist in 17 system hours. This is not a threat, it's a warning. But yeah, anyways, all right, let's get into it. <laughs> but yeah, last time uh, we left off, we had just entered this bar. We just met Gallagher, and then Gallagher, I think, wants to have a little chat with us about some of the happenings in Penacony. So let's see what's up. They want me to collect the ingredients for the drinks first. Oh, right? Hey, okay. look let's at see. all these chips scattered everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. An actor from the Iris family? The Iris family is the one that Firefly said that she was from. I wonder if that's related. I can only imagine how intense that scene must have been. Nah, it turned out to be a landslide victory. Oh, <laughs> landslide that victory? Said, skill diff, a skill diff. in this place, filled with monsters, is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks oh, up her sleeve, right? I kept saying Siobhan. <laughs> You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. Oh, we have to impress the bartender. Dude, I have no skills in mixology. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Siobhan. Yeah, Siobhan is so hot though. Like, if NPC, why hot? Like, look at them. Look at her. She's so cool. Okay. Collect ingredients. We need more ingredients. Where are the ingredients that I need to collect? Is this one? Uh, check out this bottle. The liquid inside looks beautiful. And the label reads... Dream syrup. Thick. <laughs> In brackets, the thick. Expiration date. <laughs> Honey water. The production Thin. <laughs> date is... Half an amber era ago. Yo, isn't an amber era like 300 years or something? Or 100 years? Ugh, drinking this stuff <laughs> can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. I mean, listen, alcohol doesn't go bad, so... There's a lot of wines that are around for hundreds of years. Those are super expensive, right? Maybe it hasn't expired yet, but I thought we could drink anything in dreams. Uh, that's true, but this really doesn't seem fresh. <laughs> Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream and it won't upset your stomach. <laughs> Yo, that's actually it's so been lit though. For years and should have a refined, refined? taste by now. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining. It's just aged syrup, like okay? You. There's nothing wrong. But yeah, imagine you could just so food in in the dream never goes bad. So you could literally you don't even need a fridge. You could just leave it around and it won't just and it won't spoil. Yep. That's that's so amazing. <laughs> Wait, but my question is, if you eat something in the dream, does it actually satisfy your hunger IRL? Because what if people stay in the dreamscape for a long time, uh, but 
how do they how do they make sure that their bodies also consume and don't deteriorate? Or is that what Acheron meant by the vegetable state? Like people get into a vegetable state because they refuse to leave the dream because it's so beautiful and amazing. I think that makes more sense. <laughs> Then we'll keep it for now. Yeah, so I guess you only get the enjoyment out of eating and drinking in the dream. You don't actually get the nutritional value. Necrosis. Yeah, necrosis. Well, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. Oh, is that Stay all we need? Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Oh? Drama? <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. Oh. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. It's a business proposal? Or is it a marriage proposal? <laughs> but you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. Oh, the they're recruiting her for, for the, the Irish stage. stage. Not for this rundown shack. Honey, you're an actor. Come with me. Will become the talk of Penacony is shining light into every corner. Wouldn't blame of the her, real. <laughs> Please, Siobhan, I really need you. Siobhan, she really needs you. In what way? <laughs> <sighs> dot, dot, dot. As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. <laughs> if you don't come along. <laughs> I'll just sit here and not go anywhere. Oh, else. wow. She's persistent. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Why would you ever want extra ice in your drink? All it does is melt and then dilute the drink and make it taste like water. <laughs> just one moment. I always ask for less ice whenever I get anything. What's her deal? We can't discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? Oh yes, let's just manipulate her emotions. How come even you, Himiko? Time is running out. We need to hurry. All right, valid. Yeah. We do have more pressing I'm matters. On you. That's valid. That's valid. Okay, what mood should we make her? I don't want to make her Shaban's sad. Guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave. Until she accepts my proposal. Girl, you are in the way. You are interrupting us, okay? <laughs> I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Hey, listen, if she's making like a decent amount of money working in a bar that has barely any customers, that means you're literally just making money for doing nothing. Because you don't even have to serve people that much. And then you still get paid because it's your job. So why wouldn't she? Now, if you have to, if you're making like minimum wage, then that's a different matter, obviously. <laughs> but I feel like Siobhan, Siobhan's enjoying herself, you know? She's having a good time. Siobhan just said, anything can be imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients. Oh, we're not using the clockwork now. We're using, wait, what? Oh, so are we trying to give her a new a drink that she likes? I guess? Interesting. So... We should make her... She's currently calm. What do you think is the most effective emotion? Probably sad, right? <laughs> but I don't want to make her sad! Make her mad? Do we want to though? I feel like if she gets mad, then she'll just be even more aggressive and don't want to leave. Yeah, I'm gonna make her sad. I feel like... I feel bad, but sad might work. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. Why did I choose the depressing route? Why did I do this? <laughs> I'm too timid and shy. <laughs> I did this to myself. Longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance because I'll never be able to do anything alone. Oh no. You don't know Siobhan's past and you have no clue how radiant, radiant? she used to be. Radiant? In Valorant? 
Damn, she got those flicks. Ivor's family, her skill was unmatched. Sorry, my gamer brain's taking over. I know. <laughs> she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. But all I want is for her to reclaim her place. But if she doesn't want her place, then you're just being pushy, you know? Okay, if I, I we don't know their history, so but so maybe maybe Shaban it is a situation where she is sabotaging herself. But if Shaban is actually made the decision, sound of mind, because it's what she actually wanted, then you know, back off. <laughs> let her le let her be. You feel an inexplicable mix of bitterness and sweetness that permeates the air. The next moment, that emotion turns into liquid filling your goblet. She's still not Whoa. leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. Whoa, this is, it's like, it's a ball, but it has barbed wire sticking into it. This is kind of ominous. It's an experiment. Huh? How do, how do we get a s experiment from that? That's weird. That's I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. It's because she's living her life. Try reading her thoughts. Oh, was that wrong? Okay. Then I guess happy. <laughs> we made we made her sad, so let's make her happy now. <laughs> I've seen it. The moment. When Siobhan and I share the stage, the crowd is going wild, applause crashing like waves, the aroma of irises fills the air. She's addicted to A the melody to the fame. Playing, ribbons <laughs> dancing around us, and the taste is sweeter than honey. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams, and every time it mesmerizes me. That's why I have to bring her back to that world, no matter what it takes. Okay, Amaki, but your dream could be different from Shaban. Why don't we hear Shaban's POV? <sighs> Want to raise a glass, my attentive listener? Let's consider it a toast to my far-fetched dream but also amaki's voice is really nice <laughs> i like listening to her amaki poured pika white grape soda into your tall glasses the rims gently clinked bottoms up amaki still not leaving maybe i'll have to try again oh we are going through all of them okay the last one is angie i just don't get okay she won't okay leave. i didn't want to i didn't want it to come to this amaki but you're a persistent bugger <laughs> Those darn Iris jerks! Oh. They're the ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here. Running oh, the Iris family? Pesky bar. It's all their dirty scheming. Huh. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I. I that can sounds help valid. <laughs> I can do her a favor. I'll go back oh. and write a letter to the Dream Master exposing the crimes. Crimes? By the Iris family. The plot thickens? Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. Yo, Avaki just I've went through an spelling, emotional roller coaster. <laughs> making my mind clear. And bringing tears to my eyes. We brought her through all three different emotions. Her, she must be going like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Shaban looking at us like, what are we doing? Yeah, in front of her. We're just talking to her and then she changes every single time. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Shaban truly means to me. Here's the payment for the drinks. Please. Pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Okay, bye bye, Amaki. Amaki Thank you. Left? Now we can finally talk about our investigation. Thank you. <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Oh, Shaban. Her drink is on the house. 
Please keep the money. Well, Shabazz sounds like she's really jaded. When you're ready, go Maybe she didn't want to quit. <laughs> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. Skills? Oh, to make a drink for us. Okay, that okay. Said, I thought, he meant, I thought they meant in battle. Way simpler than you'd imagine. <laughs> Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. So, go ahead. Explore the bar and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Oh, suddenly we're becomer... Son, suddenly we're becoming a bartender. Nice work. Okay. Let me take a look. Let's just use what we you have. found some interesting ingredients there. Now, take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. I want it to so, be sweet as hell. Which one would you like to use as the base? It must be sweet and fruity. Those are That's what I like. Classic soul glad. Here, we'll use the... Pico White Grape Soda. I feel like this sounds really good. The original formula is said to be Hanunu's favorite drink. Hanunu? It's sour and bitter, and the bubbles burst in your throat like swallowing it's Sour and bitter? Chains, I thought it was going to be sweet. <laughs> evoking thoughts of dungeons <laughs> and prisons. Whoopsies. <laughs> now that you've chosen the base, uh, it's time That's to awkward. Pick the I picked the one the base that actually I wouldn't like. Chemical reaction with the base. It should get oh, sorry for cutting you off, sir. High stakes. It's experiment. Yeah, I don't know if I want to put this in my drink, sir. I'll take the high stakes. This is the most pungent adjunct we have. And my personal favorite. Ooh, Gallagher's favorite. Mmm, so we have taste. The syrup was the nice and sweet. Damn it! Before Mikhail left, the wrinkles I was baited by the name. Of his eyes had deepened like knife cuts. He mumbled. His breath too weak to climb up. Oh, his wait, Mikhail! Caught up in his chest. But I could smell it. The lingering scent of Penacone itself on that night. Wait, is Mikhail the clockmaker? I thought Mikhail was the clockmaker's grandson or something. But if Gallagher knows Mikhail, then it seems like maybe Mikhail is actually. A very prominent figure because this is the first time that we've actually ha heard mention of Mikhail outside of the dream escape. Mikhail. Interesting. Almost there. Let's pick a decoration. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. Stroth was with concentric circles, Hanu side, coin shaped lemon slices. I want Hanu side. Symbol of bravery and dauntlessness. <laughs> May you break free from your shackles just like he did. Well, it's done. What does it look like? Oh. Here's to you, innovator. Wait, it's cute. With this glass of time to murder and create. Time to murder and create. To great vengeance. Vengeance? Hey, well, I want vengeance for Firefly, so you know what? Actually, I'll take it. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. <laughs> You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors. They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glass. Man, now I want to taste it. The I'll drink my honey water. The layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweetness. I'm not entirely sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed some light on it. Oh, is Himiko digging for info? Info? <clears throat> Well, if you're expecting a I think profound she is. answer, smart, smart. I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Of what like. this dream truly Nothing tastes more. like. Intriguing. Does this true taste have Oh, oh she is digging. Okay. Mikhail? Mikhail, I heard this name in my dream. Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do we Do finally remember? get some answers? Gallagher, please? <sighs> this is our chance? <laughs> I was right about you. <gasps> Ooh, oh you my god. Maybe he actually does give bit. us some. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. At long last? Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. Oh? All right. Let's start with what we know. Yes, based okay, on okay, <laughs> let's go. I'm excited. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. 
In other words, she's a stowaway. Who was most likely brought here by the Stellaron hunters. At least that's our assumption at the moment. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. My age? <laughs> but here on the planet of festivities, <laughs> the struggles of having your sight. name as a word. <laughs> bound to run into one sooner or later. <laughs> After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. Mm. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the tricky is kind at of that. About Firefly? But didn't didn't Gallagher help Firefly get away initially? She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacony at all. Yeah, we couldn't find her body in reality. Huh? Does that mean... Death eradicated her? Maybe things will turn out different than we think? Is she a ghost? <laughs> a clever metaphor. Um, you, you were making a metaphor, right? She only exists in the dreamscape. Let me be frank. We're going back to my initial theory. This case, actually. She only exists. Is unlike anything the inside Penacony has dealt with before. Dealt with before, so death does happen in Penacony. Oh. If I understand correctly. Is the meme just running amok, and they always You've just cover it up? It, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. That's what I'm getting from this. <laughs> Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. Mm, but it's still not good to cover it up, right? Because people don't realize that it is a possibility. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. Okay, tell us, sir. We all we've had after coming to Penacony thus far is people talking in circles around us. Can you please give us some straight answers? I would appreciate it. Very much, Gallagher. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music Ooh, the, the too, invitation. Right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, and thus the answer to the question, why I does life slumber? slumber? What does that mean? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Also, damn, Himiko memorized it. <laughs> hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, <laughs> but I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? I'm sure you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. I did not actually guess that. I did. I missed all the hints. <laughs> That's. Just I just don't know anything about the watchmaker. Period. Actually. It's hard to believe that the father of Penacony and its actual managers are at odds. Unless the family took over because they were too greedy for power, and then the watchmaker didn't like that because the watchmaker initially wanted to create Penacony for his own reasons, which is mostly to allow people to, you know, experience a softer reality inside the dream. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the Watchmaker an enemy for a long oh. time. But the Hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. <gasps> oh, wait, is the Watchmaker Hanu? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world? Inviting you here and causing chaos? Probably because us coming here will maybe draw out the Watchmaker since he is uncatchable by the family at the moment. So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist Whoa. in the investigation but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchman is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacony. 
Oh. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in so the dreamscape. The family thinks the watchmaker is illegal. Or not illegal, is the the issue. The cause of all the issues in Pentecost. But what does this have to do with Mikhail? Isn't Mikhail the watchmaker? You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer <laughs> yeah, of the family. See? I got it, I got it. He's the watchmaker. I put two and two together. Some time later. Oh, the music's so exciting. Here we are. Clock Studios Theme Park. The most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Wait, are you supposed park? to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to <laughs> maybe a library or an archive room of sorts. But an amusement park? Hey guys, we need to... We need a break, okay, from all of the all of the tragedy and trauma that we've experienced thus far. The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. Oh, is it because the theme park is based off of historical events and characters from Penacone, I'm assuming? You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here. Helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. Oh. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected oh. and overlapped. And people started meeting each other in their dreams. Oh, so that's how the memoria works. They were almost identical to reality. Okay, okay. That actually makes quite a bit of sense. But everything has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville. Oh, true, because I remember before there was the, the, the riots the with the soda. So the character Hanu is based off a real-life person. So the clocky cartoon is actually a documentary, damn! History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. This doesn't explain why we can see Clocky as an actual person, though. That's very sus still. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. Okay. There are so Let's many see. members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? Mr. Sunday. Isn't it because Aventurine is stuck? <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. Oh, wow. This lady is dressed to the nines. Okay. Can you convince them to let us in? We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Wait, so we don't want to go in. But how are we supposed to go see the stuff that's inside if we can't go inside? What's Let's up with find that? A quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? Hmm. We can see everything from here. Galga sure knows a lot. I mean, he is the head of security, so... I feel like it makes sense that he would have a lot of knowledge about everything that's happened in the past and present. But, you know, we can't take everything he says at face value because, again, trust no one in Penacone, right? So, we gotta see, we gotta see what, uh... We, we can take his info at face value, but then we can't trust it completely. So... It does offer a bit of insight into what's going on. However, there might be still something more to what is happening. You know? You know? Including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? Oh! Oh, so the Watchmaker sided with the people who were rioting. It was a monumental war for freedom. 
Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew. Hanunu is such a fun name. <laughs> nameless, history fictionologists, morning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. I wonder if we'll ever see all of these different factions. Among them was the person <laughs> who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? Hey, who knows? Who knows what type of power the guy had? <laughs> I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, that's a sus question. I'm 13. Huh? <sighs> no way. Not even close. 13 Amber Eras old? Anunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. 13? With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. Brother, are you going to elaborate on the I'm 13 line that you just sold? Just told us, sir. It wasn't until the I can't even call you sir if you're 13 year old, years old. Of turning the prison hey, guy. into the planet of festivities, that Penacony finally gained its name and glory. He's 13, guys. Surely he's 13. Peculiar. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacony. Wait, so they're not going to elaborate on that? Like they're they're not gonna nothing further. We're just moving on. <laughs> We're moving on back to the Watchmaker lore. <laughs> My goodness. But didn't you say the Watchmaker um, betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. But how are you 13? Like, sir, I'm 13 anyways. <laughs> what? <laughs> But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family. Mm. But to Mikhail. Well, yeah, because he ended up siding with the family. That's why he's working for them right now. What did you do? <sighs> I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Mm. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacony. But the Oak family, they set us up. Sounds like everyone is setting everyone up here, okay? Again, trust no one. <laughs> Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. Wait, do we know who... Do we know any people from the Oak family yet? Well, they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world behind closed doors. They condemn him on a pillar of shame. Oh, that's hypocritical. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore harmony to Penacony. Sunday and Robin? I thought they were the Nightingale family. Or is that incorrect? Because, you know, they have so much Nightingale <laughs> insignia. <laughs> I mean... Oh, so Sunday and Rob- So Sunday might actually be the villain then! He was so sus earlier when he was talking to Aventurine and then tricked him into essentially killing himself. So... Sunday? Not who he seems? Guys, guys, I remember mentioning in 2.0, at the end of 2.0 when Sunday shows up and confronts Sparkle, and you know, when he was talking, how I said that it kind of seems like Sunday was having his Joker moment, how he was going to go off the deep end. Hmm? Hmm? Was I right or was I right? I mean, we're, we don't know for sure yet, but... But all the signs are leading towards a, a single outcome here. <laughs> but we failed. Too much time had passed. And the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. Well, oh. I was gonna make a dog, a, like a dog comment, but he's 13 years old, so I feel like I, that's inappropriate. 
The family accepted me and made me an officer, <laughs> supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Uh. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. Died, eh? That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. Yeah, Mikhail a goner? For sure, for sure. I'm totally sure Mikhail is never going to reappear in the story. 100%. I feel like Misha's Mikhail, guys. I feel like Mikhail maybe was able to hide from the family for so long by maybe sealing his memories and sealing himself into a form from when he was a lot younger, mayhaps? Which is why only we can see Misha, because we can also only see uh, Clocky and stuff. So then, for some reason, because we have a higher resonance with the Memoria, I guess we can see him. Or there might be something more to it. I don't know this, the details of why we can see Misha and Clocky. But Misha, I mean, but Misha, Mikhail, naming is very similar. They both kind of are super suspicious and mysterious characters. So... What if Misha is actually Mikhail? What if they're one and the same, just in different different forms at different times? But others have seen Misha. Oh, have they? Oh, so others have seen Misha, but only Misha can see Clocky. So is that how it goes? I feel like Misha is Mikhail's inner child. Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting too. Right? It kind of feels like Misha is the embodiment of something, rather than an actual person. Especially because he appeared and then has not appeared ever since. <laughs> has, has not really been mentioned ever since we saw him with uh, Acheron. Because the thing is, when we were with Acheron, when we saw Misha with Acheron as well, right? It was kind of ambiguous whether or not anyone else could actually see Misha. Because I remember, I remember, because I was going through the VOD the other day, and then when we showed up at Acheron and Misha with Firefly, Firefly's reaction was a little bit confusing, because Firefly said she acted kind of like she was a bit confused when we referred to the people, i.e. Acheron and Misha, being in trouble. So I feel like that is hinting at the fact that maybe Firefly couldn't see Misha as well. I don't know. I don't know for certain, but it is very, very mysterious and ambiguous. And yeah, I, th I definitely think Misha is probably one of the biggest players in the story, especially because he's so, you know, on the down low at the moment and hasn't appeared in so long. So we'll see. I, I think the Mikhail Misha theory is definitely <laughs> has some merit. <laughs> I remember correctly, we only talked to about Clocky to Firefly, never mentioned about Misha, but we but we show up. We see Misha with Acheron. And then Firefly is with us at that moment. Because I, I remember this pretty specifically because I went through my VOD recently when I was editing. So yeah, it, it seems like Firefly also acted it was it was very ambiguous. They didn't make it clear, which I think is the intention. But I think there's a possibility that Firefly didn't see Misha. We won't know, we won't know, until they make it clear. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker, and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Who could that person be? Is the Watchmaker an organization? Well, that's one way Perhaps. to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Hmm, I wonder who it is. Wait, what if it's Acheron? But then Acheron also kind of promised that she wasn't here to necessarily go against Penacone. Because Acheron said that she came here to do a favor for an old friend. What if Acheron was friends with Mikhail, so she came to Penacone to get the Watchmaker's legacy? to essentially fulfill Mikhail's motives and goals from when he was still alive. Oh, oh, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. Wait, that might be it. It actually might be Akron. 
Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I mm. believe the girl's death must mm. be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries... I think I'm onto something. We will find the answers we are seeking. I sure hope so. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For you must see his old friend me, again. Form a line from here That's all the way sad. to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to me in the eye and hear me out. A big dose of it. Let's just say there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. You called yourself an old dog, but you said you're 13, Gallagher. What does this mean? Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, Ooh. Now, if you'll Mama. excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacony today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? True. It's all about perspective. They're both doing the exact same thing, coming to Penacony. does have a troubled past, it seems. Yeah, everyone in this... <laughs> everyone in this country or planet has a troubled past, March. In fact, all of us, every single character in this game has a troubled past. Let's be real. <laughs> While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. And that the family isn't all united. The death is related to the Watchmaker, that Clocky is based on... Okay, let's exactly. <laughs> Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. Oh my god, did Robin kill... Not did... Did Sunday kill his own sister? I feel like, I feel like that could be the twist. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like Sunday could have done that. That lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. <laughs> are they though? I mean, I feel like Acheron, she said she came here to do a favor for an old friend. Keyword old friend. No. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Hey, March. We met him, okay? He's not an imaginary friend. He's our bestie. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since then. I mean, if we just go around walking to some random citizens, he'll show up, don't worry. That pretty much sums it up. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his oh, end. Oh, true. Welt is having a drink with Miss Acheron. A totally not date. <laughs> Ask about Welt's situation. Mr. Yang, our investigation here has come to an end. How is progress going on your end? Not too bad. The Galaxy Ranger and I agree that the family might be hiding something extremely important. We're now headed to Dewlight Pavilion. Acheron, huh? Didn't Aventurine say she was dangerous? I've confirmed that she's on our side. Don't worry. Please wait for a while. I'll keep you posted as soon as I find anything. Yeah, they had a bonding moment. Ooh, we're gonna be Acheron POV? Are your companions worried about you? Not Welt POV. That's peculiar. They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Oh, it might be Akron POV because they want us to test her character, so we swipe for her. <laughs> Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. Oh, they're going to see Sunday now? It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Why are they going to Sunday? Let's see if Did he invite them? anyone waiting to greet us. Oh. Intriguing. Oh, thank God it's already unlocked. <laughs> Imagine Something we have to do it again. Off. A 
grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight? Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, I mean, well, there's literally monsters roaming amok, so... <laughs> well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. This is going too smooth, Acheron. You kill everything without entering combat. Of course it's too smooth. <laughs> yeah, Just the much. exploration goes too, too swiftly now. <laughs> You're so right. Acheron draws her blade slightly. Within a moment, her breath became imperceptible. <sighs> I've made myself less noticeable. Oh. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family. Oh. I she used uh, her veil. Her. her thief skill. The hide. I see. Invis technique. What an interesting <laughs> technique. Okay. All right. Stream forth. Gleam of old blades. Average Acheron gameplay. Let's go. The model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? Yep. Maybe the heads of the family and the footprints here are different from the rest. Uh, there are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. That was us. It was us as a uh, venture. Before he got his death <laughs> sentence. Wait, are Welt and Acheron gonna come here to get a death sentence now? <laughs> <laughs> the last time we came here with someone, we ended up uh, having an execution Stream order. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's there awkward. Aren't any people in this mansion. <laughs> I've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Oh, they're patrolling. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, wow. They're forcing us in battle? This is where it is. Whoa, it's a dino! Savor it for me. I really like the dinosaurs in Pentacony, <laughs> huh? You know what? I can understand. I can understand. All will be swept away by the wind. Yo, this dino was kind of beefy, though. Look, it dropped something. What did it drop? A note. It looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. A suspicious note? This is totally not bait. Hmm. Seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. Oh. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. Well, it's a massive event, so that's understandable. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? Yeah, Mr. Sunday, who's chilling in his room. So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Oh? Yeah, but I don't know why. Oh, so they cleared out all of the staff from the mansion and replaced it with the guards on purpose. But for an unknown reason that we are not sure of. All right, Mr. Sunday, are you there? No one here. Oh, it's either. empty, empty. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. She can use her cloaking ability on someone else? She's literally just- I mean, we all know that she's the most OP in the lore, but... <laughs> she's so strong. A treasure. Oh, I thought that was the notification. A letter from Robin. Dear brother, how are you doing these days? I had intended to visit you at the Dulight Pavilion as soon as possible upon my return, but with the approaching Charmony Festival and your busy schedule, I refrained from troubling you. However, an urgent matter compels me to share something with you immediately. Since my return to Penacony, I have experienced a peculiar change in my voice. At first, I thought it was caused by exhaustion or illness, but after consulting with doctors, they assured me of my perfect health and dismissed my concerns. However, my voice worsened over time, and I even experienced periods of complete voice loss. Oh, wait, so that's actually how her voice was. It wasn't just a glitch because it wasn't truly Robin. Her voice, like the actual Robin when she returned, did also sound like that with the weird auto-tune robot-y effect. That's, that's very interesting. In order to find answers, I conducted many private investigations using my idle time out of rehearsals, of course. <laughs> Eventually, I realized that the harmony in Penacony is not pure. A discord lurking within has tainted my voice of harmony, which I believe to be the root cause of my vocal issues. Oh, so the harmony is currently... Infected with something. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
immediately realize that such levels of interference can only occur if either a powerful external force is pulling the strings or if a senior member of the family is involved. Unfortunately, further investigation has led me to the latter conclusion. But if it's Sunday, if Sunday did this to his own sister, that is so messed up. This is an extremely alarming discovery. A traitor has emerged within the family in Penacone, and it is highly likely that this person is one of the four family heads. I trust you implicitly, dear brother, because of our promise. What promise? With the Charmony Festival on the horizon, I fear this person intends to impede its progress, or even use the festival for some ulterior motive. At any rate, I suggest you monitor the other family heads while also prioritizing your own safety. You are the only true family member I have left. Guys, please, please no betrayal. Please no betrayal, Angle. I swear, I swear. I really hope I'm wrong. <laughs> I really hope it's not actually Sunday. <clears throat> there is another matter that requires our attention. During my investigation, I learned about the Memory Zone meme, Death, and my further inquiries led me to believe that the culprit who directed it to cause this series of incidents is likely the aforementioned traitor in the family. I have collected more clues and am prepared to verify my hypothesis. Rest assured, you can just focus on the preparations for the Charmony Festival. Once I've thoroughly investigated death, I'll come meet you immediately. It won't take long. Oh, so she died because she went to try to investigate it herself, so then she got attacked by the person who was trying to not get investigated. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense why Robin ended up getting murdered, I guess, in particular. It's because she actually started snooping herself. Okay. Not because she was necessarily targeted. Given your heavy workload, please take care of yourself. Don't stay in the dreamscape all the time. Spend some time in reality when you are free. I've brought some more specialties from other galaxies. Giant Moa Pudding... Gi Giant Moa P P P Why can't I say the word pudding? Hello? My brain? Giant Moa Pudding Tarts from Mor Morillons. Wild Strawberries from Akonyako. Known for their exceptional size and sweetness, which I'm certain you'll enjoy. And Almond Meringue Cream Cracknels from Medica. Medicia. Don't forget to enjoy them. May Zeit be with us. Your sister, Robin. Interesting. Okay, so Robin basically as soon as got attacked for investigating. As soon as arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Oh, wait. Wait, so that when we first arrived, that was actually Robin then? I just assumed that Robin, we never met the true Robin because it was either Sparkle pretending to be her or their fake uh, mute, mute with the replicated voice, I guess. So we did actually meet Robin, which means that she died sometime between us arriving and then Aventurine essentially discovering or her body, right? So like, okay, so it did happen. So it did happen after we arrived. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Yeah, they have to... They're probably super powerful. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. Oh my god, is it Sunday, guys? The Sunday. The death pool at the end of 2.0 is not the crime scene? Mm hmm No, yeah, so the death in 2.0 is just a memory. It's just Acheron, not Acheron. It's just Aventurine's memory that he showed us. Because essentially what happened is after Aventurine arrived, he at one point after we met Robin, he encountered and or discovered Robin's dead body. And then he had to essentially give up his his stone from his really powerful stone to the family because to prove to kind of like prove as collateral to the family that he didn't kill Robin, that he wasn't responsible. He just discovered the body and he was actually innocent in the matter. So that's why Aventurine was missing his items. And yeah, so then what he showed us at the end of 2.0 was just his memory of it. Okay. 
That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. I mean, I really don't want to believe it's Sunday is the traitor, but I feel like that would be a plot twist and a half. <laughs> List of deaths victims. Anserol, a male Halovian, was dragged into the sea by an unknown meme while sunbathing on the beach in the moment of oasis. Subsequent search and rescue operations proved unsuccessful. Note, this was the first case. Can't tell if anything is wrong. Insufficient investigation? Mori, a male from Shianzo, entered a spheroid in Golden Hour and mysteriously disappeared while the spheroid was bouncing in air. Oh, damn. <laughs> Later examinations showed no signs of forced entry or exit on the spheroid. Note, it seems the culprit can ignore physical barriers. Conventional investigation methods feasible? Holy crap, there are so many. <laughs> Do we need to read all of them? I feel like these are important though. <laughs> Skip it, it's just unimportant. Okay. So the rest of these deaths are most likely... Yeah, so this death list is... Seems like it's not as important. This list comprises over 100 cases related to the Memory Zone meme death. However, the author of the list still seems to struggle with figuring out the pattern. Okay, no pattern. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Well, Robin, I'm assume, I assume was attacked because she was digging into it. But Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, He's no stranger to death. If you want more lore, but it can be done without. It has some hints though, but it's not that much. Mm, okay. There was just like, that was just a really long note. It's okay. We read, we read like a bunch of it. We can always go back and read the rest later. So. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Okay, let's see. This light cone <gasps> is securely guarded. Oh. It must hold some important memories. Look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> It's it's child uh it's child Robin and child Sunday supporting her. Oh, they're so wholesome. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many grand stages, oh. her favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. Dude, my heart. This is so cute. Holy crap, I actually, my heart just went like doki doki because it was too adorable. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Oh, oh, does that mean that they don't have that good of a relationship anymore? I feel like they're trying to, they're starting to kind of flag a bit, aren't they? It seems like maybe... I don't know if this is just my confirmation bias, but I, I feel like they're constantly hinting towards the fact that Robin and Sunday are no longer as close as they used to be for some reason. And it worries me. I hope it is just confirmation bias. Yeah, time <laughs> as a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. Please no, please no. I want to believe in the goodness of humans, okay? The goodness of people. Investigate. List of suspects. Oh my goodness. Okay, this one's also really long. Here, we'll read like the beginning and the end. Esteemed head of the Oak family. The investigation into all the suspects involved in the death case have been concluded. The findings are summarized below for your review. Respectfully, as may Jurat. Okay, let me skim it. Here, I'll go down slowly so you guys can you guys can pause. And read it. I'm, I'm skimming it. It's just very long, so... <laughs> My voice will give out. <laughs> yeah, these are just a lot of... A lot of very random suspects, I guess. There are a total of 52 suspects on the list, followed by Sunday's note. Perhaps there is a common thread among them. I have reached a conclusion. Oh? Okay, well, I'm assuming that they're going to tell us what the threat is, so I don't have to look at it myself. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but 
I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these oh, Yes, Agron, tell us. Tell us what we missed. <laughs> what is it? No, nothing. No, no, Akron, you're not. Just I tell me. I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's death? Well, I thought this was, I thought this was like common knowledge. The moment we realized there was a traitor, I feel like this is the... <laughs> Oh, okay, so she's just discovering this? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. Hmm. A letter from Alfafa. To Sunday. Okay, we'll read the letter. The letters are, are important. <laughs> to Sunday. I have been informed about Robin, and I would like to express my deepest condolences. However, I must remind you that you now hold the position of not only her elder brother, but also head of the Oak family. Your every action has implications for all of Panacone. As Panacone is going through a critical period, it is crucial that you do not allow your hatred to cloud your judgment and be cautious not to engage in activities that others can use against you as leverage. I heard that you are planning to dedicate a significant amount of time and resources to find death. Such action does not serve the best interests of the family as a whole, and I strongly advise you to reconsider it to avoid potential impeachments from other family heads. So it seems like he is uh, very adamant in investigating death and finding this traitor. So it might not be him, but at the same time, he could be playing the role perfectly, right? He could be so adamant to find and get revenge because everyone assumes that he and Robin have a very close relationship. Oh my god, I'm sorry for the Sunday slander, guys. I <laughs> The last time I slandered someone, Firefly, <laughs> she died. Um, I apologize, but I can't, I can't help it. It's my, my brain is theory crafting and this is the theory that it has fixated on, so. <laughs> While you are convinced that death is connected to the Watchmaker, I have met that Watchmaker many times long before the Dream Master adopted you and your sister and I have never found any evidence linking him to the Memory Zone meme. Now that, you are all, now that you are the head of the Oak family, it is essential that you assess this situation objectively and consider the bigger picture. It is unwise to allocate all of Panacone's resources and manpower for the sake of a personal vendetta, as this would bring dishonor to the Great One. The Charmony Festival is on the horizon, and the Watchmaker's guests are all barely holding back their own agendas. Neither you nor I could face the severe consequences if Dominicus's... Dominicius? Who's Dominicus? Dominicus? Arrival is delayed. Therefore, I urge you to control your emotions and fulfill your responsibilities as the head of the Oak family, focusing only on the festival and avoiding any interference from external sources. In addition, we must not neglect the honored guests invited by the Watchmaker, as mishandling this matter could lead to diplomatic conflicts with other major factions, involving us in disputes that could have been avoided. As your elder, I hope you can comprehend the gravity of the situation and handle it appropriately. As for the matter of Robin, there would be time to pursue it once the festival concludes. By then, I will provide you with the necessary resources and manpower in the name of the Alfafa family to help you get your revenge. Additionally, I have heard rumors that the Dream Master is not entirely pleased with the recent activities. I advise you to conduct yourself with caution. The Dream Master? Who's the Dream Master? Is he like the head of the head of, the head of the heads of the families? So there's someone else with even more power? Hmm. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this mm, old Odie is happy with Sunday's recent performance. Okay, well, his sister just died, so I feel like it's understandable. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Yeah, because death is just killing random people, right? The higher-ups, they never care about the random lower <laughs> lower people getting attacked and harmed. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. That is for sure. Pretty much telling him, don't mourn your sister, just act happy. I know, right? <laughs> that letter is basically saying, suck it up. Because the higher-ups are not happy with you being depressed. <laughs> That's all Oof. for now. Nothing more noteworthy. 
Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the mm. family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Yeah, I'm surprised that the mansion... I was actually quite surprised that the mansion was so empty when Aventurine came. But I guess I thought it was just, you know, a game mechanic thing, so... Watch out. Someone's approaching. Oh? Is it Sunday? I don't think trespassing it is on Sunday. areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Oh, did her did her cloak wear off? Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. <laughs> it's Mr. Sussy himself. I'm sorry, but he looks so sus to me. <laughs> Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came <laughs> to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Okay, yeah, but the mansion looked like it was abandoned, so apologies. <laughs> even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission, so coming here will be unnecessary for you. Look at his, look at his smug little grin. Don't tell me you look at him and you think he's not sus as hell, okay? Especially with how, especially with his show, him showing his true colors when it comes to aventurine. See, prior to this, I would not be as sus as, as sus of Sunday, but I think after he did that to aventurine. It shows that he is actually quite ruthless and not what he appears to be. So. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here. To ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Rest assured. He hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Okay, but maybe whispering, saying this in front of him while he is directly standing in front of you is maybe not the best idea, Acheron? Hmm? Hmm? While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. What if the traitor is yourself? Is he gonna frame someone? Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I... I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? Uh, someone with has to have power, I guess. With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. <laughs> because I am the culprit. So I know that the culprit is inside the family. Mm-hmm. Well... <laughs> Other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. <gasps> oh my god, Sunday! Stop! You can't say that! You literally sentenced him to death! Come on, be honest about it at least, sir! However, I'll give you a <laughs> suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. Mm -hmm. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the clock studio. Oh, theme park so all by the, he's probably the thing that Who Gallagher had to go take care of. He's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe. It might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Sir? He is not beating the sus allegations, my guy. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be on his side, but he is just acting like the villain. <laughs> Oh, finally, Aventurine's POV. Are we still drunk? On the Harmony? Dot, dot, dot. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking... Oh, is this his backstory again? Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. There's no way they're talking about 
currently what's happening, right? The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia Ford. Oh, it is. And is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit Is this of in charter, live time? And will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. Is this about something that happened to him in the past or what is currently happening? Dot dot dot. Oh, okay, what happened in the past? Who is this? Is this Diamond, ma'am? What pretty eyes. It's Jade. Tell me. Do they shine in the dark? Why don't I see any jade on her, though? <laughs> Ma'am? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant... Oh! You new master. character introduction! Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. The necklace is jade, true, but I feel like the color scheme is very... <laughs> it's not what I would think of when I think of jade, but it, honestly, it's pretty cool. No lawyer has the audacity to but, defend you. But her. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Also her voice, oh. <laughs> not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Oh, I wonder if she'll be playable in the future. <laughs> Asking you shall receive. You wanted mm. the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. I need Jade to pull Jade? Real. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. I can't Maybe stop looking at her. <laughs> admit that what i'm more curious about though is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end including the perpetrator himself oh, madam i already have what i want to be brought before you for the next oh <laughs> he's nice truly he's gambling with his life he goes from one gamba to the next then let's talk about the second gamble tell me what are you prepared to wager this time? Lesbian panic is so real. My <sighs> life. <laughs> Look at her. I bet you won't send me to the gallows. The audacity of this man. <laughs> what do you want then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. <laughs> Why does he speak like that? <laughs> and then what? I want cash. <laughs> cash money. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? What do you mean? Money runs the world. It is that simple. 30 tonbas. The remainder of my market value. 30 tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Dude. Which is why you should call him here. Aventurine seriously is just always playing with fire. <laughs> Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. Her voice is so nice. You're <laughs> wrong. 30 Tonbas. He'll give you that. And much more than that. Oh. Wealth. Status. Power. Power. The IPC <laughs> will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Uh, ma'am? Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name. But unfortunately, destined to be buried in the dirt. Hmm. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. These two are playing some sort of 4D chess, and all I can stare at is is Jade. <laughs> Go. How Pick how does he focus? Like, 
then choose your desired identity. And then? <laughs> Use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Why is Jade so mysterious? <laughs> Ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> dot 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 can we have an ipc ipc stone lieutenant's reveal please life is like a long-term investment those who choose correctly do the correct things reach the correct outcomes and show the world their value why is everyone in the ipc so goddamn hot huh Dude, I'd commit tax fraud just to meet one of them, okay? <laughs> what the hell? Look at his head angle. He's looking at her jade for sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely focusing on the jade at her neck. That is the the most important part of the, the image just now. 100%. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Knock on wood, sir. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? <laughs> well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. <sighs> my success is inevitable. I am inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? You gotta win this 50-50 and then you try to win even more 50-50s next time. 100% adventuring. Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes or... Will I encounter failure? Never to return. Never. Why do you get ominous all of a sudden? Dot dot dot. I'm pretty sure you already have some idea. Oh, him on the radio? Lowly gambler. Who's he talking to? <laughs> Is this him talking to himself? Oh. He's actually hearing the voices. Wh what? Wh what? Oh. Deja vu. <laughs> Am I dreaming, or have I gone completely insane? Probably both. A, a mix. Perhaps both. <laughs> wow, guys, did I write this script? <laughs> Forgotten me already. When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlords, who was it that gave you the idea? Is this his imaginary friend? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. What is going on? I feel like I'm I tripping am. out. And perhaps even more aware I'm not the one on drugs right now. want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? Is he really gonna attack Penacony? Is he trying to bring Penacony down with him? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. He's actually hallucinating now, guys. Guys, it's Jover for him. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? <laughs> I'm you. Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. 
and I am that outcome. What does that mean? Kakavasha, I am your future. So he doesn't die? <laughs> First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next. Yo, Aventurine's like, bro, but, I am so done with all of this. No guests here? What's that featherhead doing? Featherhead? Is that a child? Just a Pepeshi? A Pepeshi. No. A child? Hmm. Walking up to a mysterious <laughs> child when you're tripping out? What I could possibly go wrong? In golden hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? <sighs> Damn, he has the migraine of the century right now. I feel bad for him. What's wrong, mister? Whoa! Well. Yo, that is scary. No, I guess this is him of the past when he was younger, but he looks terrifying. What? <sighs> Your eyes. Yo, this kid looks so scary. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Mm. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are, are you alone? Where are your parents? They're dead. This kid is you, Aventurine. Come on, take a hint. They're in that amusement <laughs> park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time too. Nah, he is cute. You and I have very different definitions of cute. I swear. Look at like his. Huh? Those eyes. And Mama Fung. No, no, it it can't. It is. It is. Eventually, just accept there it. There aren't any Avgens left. It's you. You are clearly in a dream right now. This is not reality, sir. <sighs> Wait, I want Acheron on my team. So I don't have to... <laughs> I don't have to bother with, uh... Attacking... All or nothing. Attacking stuff. Dot dot dot. Oh, the curtains are gonna open. Only on Panacone, am I right? <sighs> what are you still doing here? <laughs> the voices, they're back. Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? He's so schizo, he literally <laughs> is going through it However, right now. <laughs> Hey, but it's you so sweet. No charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely feat. Okay, bring a bulldozer. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. Because you know that opportunities are fleeting. So this fake aventurine, or I guess this embodiment of something, is his future as he claims, is trying to like clear up things for him? I'm confused. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. Straight dope? So oh, he's, admitted, he's admitting he's on drugs. Damn. Good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. Uh, the doctor who betrayed us? Calculation. Betrayed us and caused our 17 hour execution? A magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? Hmm. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. Go on. 
tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Of tights over cautious, massive inferiority complex. Oh my god, he's going for his throat! You're still so afraid of losing. Okay, so what you're telling me is that he is actually the embodiment of all of his insecurities. He is the demons that Aventurine fights at night. <laughs> they only see your big bets, your bravado, the bold house, the straight blush. They don't know the other hand is below the table. Clutching your chips for dear life. I mean, that's how you play poker, though. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the <laughs> audience. You fool yourself, too. Damn, I mean, that's what everyone does. You always end up tricking yourself the most. Well, the best way to Denial. prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. Bro is coping. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace Alation. Ooh, oh, oh, he could have followed <laughs> Alation as well. Maybe him and Sparkle would have been associates. Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? True! <laughs> Got him. We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. Savage as hell. That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Both of us. Because if he, if I disappear, you will disappear as well because you're just in my head. Get wrecked. Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Get wrecked, bro. What's in here? Yeah, I don't think that is the right way. We'll go this way first. Oh, that, I thought this was a... I thought that was the, the you know, this quest marker. <laughs> it looks like it. Okay, okay. Whoa. You know what this place kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Ah, playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. Start with the bubble machine. Okay, let's go this way. Rotate. Activate, rotate. Activate, rotate. Boing, 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 boing. There was a face inside. Interesting. Peace out. See, that's nice. Everyone's minding their own business. How kind of them. What sweet childhood memories. This place has a really nice atmosphere. If we weren't tripping out and on death's door, I would be able to appreciate it more, but... <laughs> when Mama said goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. This guy is literally just trying to bring back his trauma. <laughs> all of his harsh experiences. Drifting in all that bloody water. Completely ruined that shirt. Shame. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? Read the quest log, the quest description. I didn't read it till someone saw posted it. Oh, okay, okay. I'll take a look at it after we finish this dialogue. It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet. Well, hey, listen. Once you got money, you don't have to live in poverty anymore, okay? <laughs> Just get rich, forehead. I've never changed. <laughs> On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be it. You should enjoy it. Okay. That child. When Could the hide 
win the hide and seek game and find the Algin boy. Or do you mean like open the quest log here? You were unable to uncover your past. You were unable to uncover your past. You were unable to uncover. You are unable to uncover your past. Oh, so he doesn't know his past. So he's basically unlocking it right now. He has sealed memories? For some reason? Wait, Aventurina sealed memories? What is it with people and their memories in this in this uh, story, huh? Why is everyone lacking... <laughs> object, uh, not object, but memory permanence in their brains. Is this... Oh. Oh, that's a stone. Or that's Topaz's stone. A, a Topaz? What is this doing here? <sighs> oh, so once he gets his memories back, is he going to become unleashed? Hmm... Curious why it was here. Wait, why would Topaz's cornerstone wrench at his heart? Maybe that winged guy put uh, it here. Hmm. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged hmm. magic show is nothing but a death rattle. Intriguing. The log updates every once in a while here. Okay, okay. I will keep taking a look at it. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer <laughs> nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. Wait, so are the cornerstones not real? <laughs> this is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was... Oh, so he was just pretending to betray. He wasn't actually betraying. Oh, so he wasn't a backstabbing bitch. All right. All right, Dr. Ratio. I or see. I see. Maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Look at his smug face. <laughs> Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. Then until you gave to Ratio huh. it's all true. He spoke the same to Sunday. Oh wow, so Aventurine... Oh, okay, so... Did Aventurine have a plan? But then, because remember when, when Sunday asked him if he, his Sigonians, or not Sigonians, but uh, his race has the ability to alter their own memories. Oh, and then he was lying, right? He was lying a bunch during the interrogation, which is why he has his execution notice now. So, so that means he could have also been lying about not being able to alter his memories. So maybe he ex he had created this grand master plan and then he created this big plan and then he just executed it to perfection but then had to remove his own memories of the plan in order for it to work. Otherwise the plan might get leaked or whatever for whatever reason. Oh, so Aventurine masterminded this entire thing. Okay. Wait, does that mean Aventury? Wait, no, he Aventury can't be the traitor in the family. He's not part of the family. But he is the mastermind behind something. Okay, we're not we're not entirely sure yet. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. There was a third stone? I thought the green stone was the Aventurine stone. <laughs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Oh. Your mind. <laughs> it's Your our mind? mind? Our mind. <laughs> You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. Okay, okay. The best way to prevent Intriguing. from seeing your true colors 
is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. Oh, so was that his actuals? Oh no, this is the third stone. So I guess he had a fake... He had a real topaz stone and then... A real event, a fake adventuring stone, and then a real adventuring stone. So we managed to steal the real adventuring stone back. I mean, the topaz stone could also be fake, but that's not the point. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Hmm. Just like you. Smooth. Oh, whoops. Tell me, what's its name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when he received the stone, wasn't it? Oh, is that why he picked it? Or why it was given to him? This type of stone isn't <laughs> rare. They assigned it to him. The is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a... Oh, okay. I don't actually know this. And that more precious gem is... Are we about to have a revelation here? Jade. That's what I thought, because they're both green, right? Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Oh, looks like Jade can be substituted. Oh, so the for second gem was Jade. Too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. See, that's why I th I did think that the other stone looked like Jade, because it's smooth, right? Jade is a very smooth stone compared to a lot of the other precious minerals. But I don't know too much about Jade. stones, so. <laughs> Oh wow. Really the also Topaz and Jay did actually give up their their cornerstones. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. Oh, so now that Ventrine has his own cornerstone back, he can use his powers to do but something? Will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> hmm. We'll find out soon enough. I sure hope so. I need answers. <laughs> It's up my ass. <laughs> Suddenly you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Where? So where's that? Elaborate. In his hand? Piled up with these cheap baubles. Oh, so it actually- wait, so he did a double bluff! <laughs> so, so he literally put two cornerstones in the bag and then happened to get lucky that they found the one that wasn't his. <laughs> I'm assuming he had some method to hide it even more, but <laughs> I think that's kind of funny to think about. <laughs> he did a double bluff. Okay, Aventry, in true gambling fashion, I'm, pr I'm quite impressed. I didn't think, uh... <laughs> Wait, he smashed it? Oh, just look at it. He broke it? Shattered. Just oh, like so that's why they couldn't find it, because it wasn't intact. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous shape. Bruh. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. If you break the stone, will you be okay, sir? Aren't these cornerstones, like, the most important thing for the IPC gem people? You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Oh. Blasphemy against Klipoth's body. You think the IPC will let you get mm. off scot-free? I forgot. He's a gambler. Gambler through and through. This is his biggest well, gambit Diamond yet. has always been all about results. As long as I can create value far beyond the cost, <laughs> the end's just fine. Yo, he's kind of a Chad though, not gonna lie. Aventuring Giga Chatting out here. That takes some balls to break your stone. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Dude, he's actually crazy. He's insane, this man. <laughs> now I'm really curious. Why does everyone 
every step you take involve reckless risks and the choices you prepare. This is so reckless. Some of the strong impulse for self-destruction. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even like imagine being like him because I would be too scared. <laughs> Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the risk? I guess I'm not a, a true gacha gamer. I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Wow. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll hmm. win it all. I'm quite, I'm quite started. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. This offered a lot the into a Venturine's gone. personality. Another illusion of the harmony. Huh? Very impressed, honestly. Catch up to the young Agvin. You are complete. Lee entranced by the Afghan boy just who is he there's still time maybe you can catch up to him and as ask him exactly what something okay I'm putting all of my like English skills to use right here <laughs> We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Oh my god, he's so scary! Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? No, they're dead. Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing. Look at him. He's terrifying. This is I'm gonna see this in my nightmares. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean film. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. I literally can't even pay attention to what the kid is saying because I'm too entranced by his eyes. <laughs> and how terrifying they look. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. Hmm. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. I'm <laughs> sure. Okay, let's see. We have to take a film. Hamster ball night, fast and fury nuts. <laughs> Wait, funny. What? What is this? I'm playing some cookie run here. Choose flip button to dodge obstacles and opponents. Oh. Can we go up and down? Oh, it's space. Okay. Alright. It's not exactly like Cookie Run, but, you know, close enough. Okay. It's like the star in Mario Kart. This <laughs> is cute. Okay, slay. Oh shit. No, I missed the points. I can see them. This music is very similar to Mario Kart. It's fun. Okay. Nice. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? Yo, the kid disappeared. The totally not sus at all. I like how we're doing such a mysterious and sussy memory travel story right now, and then in the middle it's just dot dot dot. Boring. Okay. Did it change? Okay, no, it's the same message. Where'd he go? This boy is playing with us. I'm here, sir. I can't even call him sir. He's like three. <sighs> dot dot dot. Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. But I thought this is him, you know? Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. I guess it's not actually him. It's probably a creation of the Harmony or something like that. It's like a reflection of him in the Harmony, I'm assuming, since he's hallucinating from the Harmony right now. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have 
precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Is this guy just sending us through different mini games right now? Our quaint journey through this amusement <laughs> park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Okay. Let's go play more little games. Go to a maze. It's maze time. Rotato. Activate, activate, activate. Doing, 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 doing. Whoa. This place. It's so tall. Even taller than Oh, the guys, the letters are back. The, the letters are back. The suspicious text. And there are so many flowers here. <sighs> Fix this. This one's for you. Rock and no water, only the sandy road. This is definitely his younger self. <laughs> oh, it's actually a maze! Well, it's not much of a maze if there's only one path. But, you know. Okay. A dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? Oh, why does he sound so sad? Okay, wait, did this change? Oh, it did change. You cannot escape from the past. Okay, so it just complete- it just- It's expanding. You cannot- Oh, this is you cannot escape from the past. Before it was you cannot remember the past. Now it's you cannot escape? Shackles? It, oh. It is this? These are probably the shackles he wore when he was captured by that dude and then sent into the battle royale, right? <laughs> oh, what's on your mind? Oh, yeah. It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hint? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. And you made your first pot of gold. I remember it all too well. Wow, guys, we're going down a... We're walking down memory lane with Aventurine. You wrapped that iron chain So much fun. <laughs> for that is the only tool you could find. Then... Slaughtered everyone else and came Shut up on top. Up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. <laughs> Unwilling to admit that your life is worth only 60 tamas. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. Mm -hmm. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. So he did plan his own death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the Sorry, I'm like are. not talking that much during this because I'm trying to comprehend what they're telling me. <laughs> so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. Yo, why are you slandering? A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. He's pretty much the main character in 2.1? Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting that. <laughs> <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? I agree. I would rather lose in a fair fight than win unfairly. There's no honor in that. There's no, there's no satisfaction, you know? Fair. <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so... I would like to earn my victory. Did that masked fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? Sparkle. Okay, so he is using Sparkle and I guess some of her info. You mean in the plan. Make all the cards on the table just disappear? Play a different game without cards. <laughs> oh, hallucination gone again. 
brought back. Would they bloom into new flowers? Bro, that little... That hallucination of his is such a drama queen. He was like, would it disappear? And then he disappears himself. Puff of smoke vanishes into the sunset. <laughs> oh, I, I can read that. <laughs> Among the rock, one cannot stop or think. Okay. Oh, what is this? I don't recognize this. Oh, it's when he was baby. The lucky charm Mama left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? It's his last memory of his dead parents. Why would he sell it? It has sentimental value. You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. So what happened? Did Big Sis abandon him? Because <laughs> normal, it seems like Big Sis had a pretty normal life. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. you were We're getting so much exposition like from this hallucination. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah. Never resent suffering. Just accept it. Nothing you can do, right? The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. Yeah, such a drama queen for his age. Boohoo, my parents are dead. Boohoo, no water. We live in the desert. Yeah. First world problems, am I right? <laughs> oh, I mean, like, it sucks. Obviously, you know, like, his situation from the past. But it's I just find it funny how this hallucination guy is just digging up all of the dirt all of his trauma, all of his struggles, and rubbing it in his face. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter- He's just making fun of him. Like it was drilling into your heart. Tisk, tisk. A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough. Do you not have anything better to talk about? A walk through memory lane except everyone has trauma? Yeah, trauma lane. <laughs> Shut me down. Man. Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. Playing mind games with yourself now? I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You Woo! Are nuts! Yo, he sounds so different there. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the Oh, the thunder in the background. <laughs> Crackling. Well, you stuck to that. Think about Ominous. It. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool. And a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. And the only thing to pique your interest What's the word? is one word. The last word. I don't think we know the word. The word that's right there you better tell us in the next sentence. Death. Oh. But whose exactly? His own. We'll know when the dice falls. His own! Oh my god, is Aventurine gonna die? There's no way, right? They wouldn't do that. He's playable next patch. <laughs> right? Alright then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see right? just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiatha's blessing? I do not remember you asking this question. <laughs> dot dot dot. It's not just him that needs therapy. Yeah, so everyone in this game time. needs therapy. Let's be real. Is he finally <laughs> gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? Feet deep in the sand. Dead mountain, mouth of curious teeth. Finally, made it out of this. Going home? But I don't want to go back yet. Oh, I'm sorry, kid. 
Gotta go back! Oh, what the hell? Okay. Well, we need this one. So we need this one. And then we need this one. Okay, so let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Well, we need to go here. We actually... I think this might be fine. Hey, yo! I'm a genius. No one does it like me. It's so fun here. But red, Everyone sullen faces sneer and snarl. But dry, sterile thunder without rain. If there were water. Water? So was Robin and she has been dead for a month in our system hours? Shut up! No, she's not dead. She's gonna come back. She's gonna come back. If there were rock, but no water. And you are on the planet that he's from. Oh, we have to go in. We are Hanu now. Alrighty, alrighty. We can't go upstairs. Brother Hanu, where are you? Oh, clocky. This is the first time There's clocky has appeared. One place he can be going. What's this? A gun? Okay. We have gun now. Let's go. Past, present, Give me gun. Give me gun. Give it. I'm FPS gaming. Oh, I need to pick up ammo. Ooh, I can pick up ammo after I defeat someone! Oh, sorry. Like, the, the people were talking, but I was too busy <laughs> playing with gun. Oh, this is a chest? No, I wanna... I wanna complete. Okay, so we have to do this. Let's go back to normal. Rocket launcher! Here? Mister, there we go. Is that you? I hear the sound of leather shoes. Ooh, this place is a little bit darker <laughs> than the other. Ah, it really is you. Okay, young child. I don't Hello. know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. That's because we are one in the same. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Why is the music so sad? Mm. You're going back? Yes. Aww. I should go home. The day's getting dark. And it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. Oh. This You're kid. Home. Where is it? Oh, Aventurine was actually enjoying spending time with his younger self. What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. Oh my god, they're all dead, aren't they? This kid's about to go die. In this dream. <sighs> In this dream? This amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are. Kid still looks creepy as hell to me. Everyone loves it. <laughs> but, mister, why don't you like it? Because it's not real. <laughs> because they're not here. Oh, sir? Where are they then? Yo, this guy! This guy keeps coming in and ruining the mood! <laughs> they were having a moment. They were having a moment, and then this guy coming in here with his riddles and his slander and his walk down trauma lane. <laughs> you do know. My There's goodness. No point pressing the issue. <sighs> so, so, so. Admit it. You're tired. Yeah, I would be too. He only has probably, you know, around 10 system hours left to live at this point. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. 
I feel like Aventurine is just asleep right now. This is all in his head. 100%, right? Your past and future. Quote unquote Aventurine. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. Oh, what does that mean? This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. Oh! Are they? The Harmony? I feel like this is the Harmony speaking to him. <sighs> so the Harmony is essentially using his memories to kind of concoct a way for him to be at peace with himself before he dies? The road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. But you've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is, and the Watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want, what you need. Oh my god. Yo, the harmony is yap maxing. <laughs> deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of but I'm not complaining. They're actually giving me info, so. <laughs> Finally, some. Solid information that is you not just alluded to. Cuffed with red hot chains in spotlit center stage. <laughs> okay, drama queen. You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. No, they're not gonna kill him. They're not gonna kill him. I can do it. I don't think. No, and he'll survive. He'll survive. Flawless. He will live. Uh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and, and, and He'll survive. It's that simple. Arena 2.0? No! No, 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 no more sacrifices, guys. Please, please. I've had enough. My heart can't take it. That way, I can't handle it. You will earn a place at the table. And as for you... You'll just have to slip the leash, <laughs> leave the rat race, No, they're not going to kill him, right? You'll have the freedom you no, need. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I refuse. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist nope. from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. He'll survive. For sure. Oh. So For sure. Shows you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Nah, he'd win. <laughs> no, he actually will win. I, I believe. I believe in you, Aventurine, okay? As a fellow person with the... Name starting with A, you got this. <laughs> Why, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. We can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. No, I don't think he'll die. I think he'll- no, no. I- I- I won't believe it. I reject this. I'm rejecting the signs. I'm rejecting the flags. Nope. Nope. Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, 
I'll know what the trip was all about. Bro is literally getting a long ass therapy philosophy session with <laughs> with himself via the harmony. <laughs> Therapeutic. It's best to die without regrets. No. No, if they're telling us he's dying, he won't die. Okay? Okay? If they were actually going to kill him, they would want it to be a shock, so they would not allude to it. This is a red herring, okay? This is a red herring. Aventurine will not pass away. <sighs> he won't. They wouldn't bring this up if he actually dies. Only we are left. <laughs> Can you take a photo for they won't. me? I want a memento. Sure. Come on. Oh. Oh no. We're taking a photo with the kid? The last time we took a photo with someone. Um. No, kid, you don't want a photo. You don't want a photo, okay? No, 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 no. This is not. This is not what you want. No selfies. No, no photography. It's a, it's a flash off. Okay. <laughs> no, no. I won't believe it. I won't believe it. No, we're not. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't tell us. They wouldn't tell us. They wouldn't tell us about his death beforehand. They want it to be a surprise, and that's just fact. That's just fact. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Oh, so we're taking a photo of the kid, okay? So we're not in it. Okay, if we're not in it, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> How nice. Okay, it's- now Guys, we're saved, we're saved. I look like we didn't take a selfie with him, we took a photo for him. It's different. Semantics, semantics. Look at the it's a technicality, okay? The next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back to- We're gonna be fine. I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. A grand finale? Oh no, the last time we had a show, it was Fontaine, and then there was a lot of disaster and tragedy and suffering and sacrifice. Oh, but hey, but hey. Oh no, no, I can't even say that. I was like, oh, but no one in Fontaine died. Mm. That's just not true. Oh, well, okay, okay. Oh, listen, listen, but enough people have died in Pentacody, okay? We've, we've fulfilled the quota, the quota of two. So we don't need to go up to three, you know? It's fine, it's fine. Oh, We're not going to. You're about to go on stage, aren't you? But eventually he said he has three chips. No, 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 no. Two is enough. Two is enough. I'm. I refuse to believe it. I'm Let's not. Go, I'm not looking at the hints. I'll take you to this. I'm stage. closing my eyes. <laughs> I'm sure. So you're an actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. Oh, see, we got the photo this time. Okay. This time I'm we got the photo, so it's fine. Merchant. But I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. He is. Hello? Hello? The only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is... Brother, his I'm entire shy. jacket and vest is black. <laughs> is this child colorblind? Awesome. I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. Okay. Um... Rotate. Activate, activate. There we go. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> of course you can. Over planes, endless. You'll be better and stronger than me. Into cracked earth, stumbling. Ooh. This area looks so nice. Rank! Frank that soldier boy. Shinji? Frank that soldier boy. 
Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Oh, I'm actually I'm kind of scared. Good luck with your show. The show's happening now. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. If this stage is where he's supposed to have his death, then I would be nervous too. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. Let's put our palms together. I need a palm to click the mouse. I can guide you. Okay. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. Um, is something about to happen? Dot, dot, dot. This is where we go our own way. Oh, okay. The catechins are coming. Back to the sad backstory. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? To kill you. Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge. Remember? Today His birthday? Yo, of unlucky. Kava, and also your birthday. They know the Afjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Everything? Little do the Catechins know, this time we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. Also, the men in black who descend from the skies are referring to the IPC. And will surely pay for their arrogance. Oh, so the IPC came to their planet and then I guess kind of helped reclaim it? Because that's what the IPC does, right? They go to planets that are either like war-torn or just torn in general to try to save them. So I'm assuming that's what the IPC did to them. And then that's how Aventurine actually ended up with them to begin with. That Without makes sense. This ring, the Catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. Okay, but where did sister go? <laughs> but, but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? I don't know. The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. Wait, so sister is about she to just go die straight up? And help you survive. She seems like she's fine though. Why is she just rolling over and taking it? She doesn't seem like she's like on her deathbed. She's just saying like, oh, hey, hey, Kakavasha, go survive, live on, live a good life. But I will go join our parents in eternal slumber. She's going to go fight, what do you mean? Oh, okay, that makes sense. As long as but she doesn't anticipate surviving the fight. The blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid, and do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you, and the rain will bless you. Oh, sis. Sis. As for us, we will reunite in Kakao's No, sister! May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Oh, this is why he remembers because he did it. It was the last thing that he did with his sister before she went to, to go sacrifice herself to try to save him and their planet. And oh no. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. No. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. Oh. Farewell, Kakavasha.
Why'd she have to voice act it so well? That waver in her voice at the end, that got to me. Are you kidding me? Now, I mean, I knew that she was gonna die, because obviously his entire family is dead, but... Come on! News flash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. Oh wait, she rebelled this against the IPC? A serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's marketing development department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Oh, Africa, okay. Never mind. Were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,000 6, deaths, 728 deaths, and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. Dude. Oh, sis. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless Truly of race, as spoken by the one with the power. Ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Dot dot dot. Kakavasha? See, it's cool. It's cool because the IPC isn't a inherently evil organization. Obviously, they are kind of antagonistic because they are so, I guess, greedy and controlling. But at the same time, they do, like it, like Topaz's situation, right? They do do a lot of good in the universe. It's just that they are a bit morally questionable in certain ways because they like to take control and then never let go of the control. So I think the IPC is actually a really, really well-written organization or entity. Because it's not like it's not it's not black and white. It's very it's morally gray. You kind of like support them in certain ways, but also you don't support them in certain ways too. That is that I think is how you write a really good like villain or antagonist or just you know any sort of character like that. So it's interesting. Because in this case, obviously the IPC is the good guy. <laughs> so they definitely did try to help out. Bye. Go on stage. Is there gonna be cutscene here? I feel like there is. Okay. All the actors are in place. It's time for the show to begin. Or it's gonna, it's either gonna cut to someone else's POV immediately or a cutscene. Let's see. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Wait guys, the harmony, the harmony uh, trippy outline is gone. So this is reality again. He's no longer in his head. The music is so sad. Who's he Kikamusha. looking at? Oh, okay. Oh, dot dot dot. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. Do you want to see the world burn? You... Oh, destroy the world. Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? I found the answer. And the answer is yes. <sighs> Let's assume... Just assuming now... That every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. <laughs> Spoken as a true gambling addict. Oh, okay, back to Trailblazer POV. <laughs> then we don't get to see it is yet. Is Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Bro. Bro. I feel like I just absorbed so much information. <laughs> Poor Aventurine, man! I thought I already knew, I guess, the extent of his backstory because they kind of hinted at it before, but... 
actually witnessing it in front of your eyes is... straight in here. It was quite heavy, for sure, for sure. Also the whiplash between coming back to the happy Pentacony music in Golden Hour. <laughs> okay, the piss fountain. Yes, we're back at the piss fountain, y'all. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. Oh, okay, they reunited, okay. Hey, I still deserve a proper intro. Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Welt has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. Mm. Okay, Akron's part of the crew now. Let's go. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Yeah, because I can't remember my friendships because I had to seal my memories to withhold my power. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Okay, okay, Acheron. I may not trust anyone in Pentaconi, but I do trust that Welt is very intelligent, so I will trust his judgment as well. Which is why, Acheron before we continue is Gucci. working together, he has a duty to explain himself. Uh, well, you see, Welt, we can't really contact him because he is about to die and has is unable to come into contact with anyone because I guess it got sealed. So, unlucky. You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? Oh yeah, it'll be a really, really big gathering. There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. Apparently strategizing to the point where he had to erase his own memories to make sure that they're not uh, shown. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Oh, I'm kind of worried. I, because I know it kind of seems like eventually he wants to raise Pentaconi to the ground. I will not lie. So that obviously doesn't bode well for everyone. But I hope that's not the case. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Pentaconi has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. You can contact people, just not the IPC? No, I mean, it, when Sunday said, it kind of seemed like he is not allowed to contact anyone at all, period, so. I am the bone of my bat. Stellaron is my body, and Trailblaze is my blood. You're talking weird again. I love Stell. I love her. <laughs> no matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Pentaconi. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? So what's our plan, besties? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! But where do we start looking for him? True. It's, I'm assuming he's not answering his cell phone. No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. <laughs> so we don't even have to look for him. We just have to <laughs> just live our lives. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Oh, he has access to the PA system? Rut row. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's oh, plans be for nothing? I think something big's about to happen. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon the us. The hour of trailblazing? The hour of something. Oh, I have a bad feeling that something yeah. big's gonna go down. Me too. Are you ready? You and me both, March. Ready. We're going. Let's waste no time and head to the theme park. We're then. going. It's trailblazing time. Ooh, okay. Let's walk. Mr. Yang. Hmm? 
Dot, dot, dot. Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? Oh, don't worry. I've already heard about your true identity. It's <laughs> just like you said. Uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story. Not something that can be summed up in a few words. She, I am an emanator of nihility. That is all you need to say. Pretty easy. But I but chose I <laughs> to believe you. And my trust in you it's stems than that. more from my own personal judgment. Yeah, eh, Mr. Welt from Honkai Third. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Look at these kids. Thank you. I'm grateful. Aww. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds oh, are in the favor, I will stand with you. Yo, we can't lose then. Acheron's OP as hell. <laughs> if my meager strength meager? is required. Meager? Meager strength? Okay, okay, humble queen. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Um, my Acheron does, like, negative damage. So, it's Jinglu time. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're back here again. Adventuring actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Yeah, it's his grand stage, okay, March? Let him live his life. He's, he's living with the timer, okay? <laughs> Not a soul in sight. All oh, this music. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Don't worry, we have Acheron the Emanator. <laughs> Yo, this music slaps! Whoa, the curtain's opened. Oh. Welcome to the Interastral Peace Corporation Live His symbols on the screens. Astral Express. Oh, this is so loud. <laughs> You're late. He was so quiet and now it's so loud in my ear. <laughs> what do you mean? She's our companion, Aventurine, okay? We've kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> well. I will, naturally. But before that, oh. I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Who? Everyone, give it up for Mid Oh, me? Aaron. What's up? We're not here for any pageantry. Does this have anything to do with the wanted murderer? Mommy, look, I'm on TV. It's me, it's me. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I love Stell so much. <laughs> Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. Of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. Oh. She is the key to okay, that makes the sense. family's death. It does not Wait, who's the third? Robin, it's Firefly. But a sham. Wait, who's the third homicide, guys? Wait, guys, answer. <laughs> I know, I know Twitch is an emote only. <laughs> YouTube, help. What was the third homicide again? <laughs> Does it matter? Oh, I mean, well, I guess we'll find out. Homicides? Three homicides? Oh, okay, we're not That's supposed to know. Right, oh! <laughs> to right I see, I see, I understand, I understand now, okay. <laughs> Wait, is he gonna kill us? A truly grand death. No, is a third homicide himself? You, you, you. Wait, no, all of us? Wait, he's trying to kill all of us? All of you My guy, this is... It's all this is more than just homicide. This is serial. You will become the personification of death. Huh? 
What are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> I thought my intent was crystal clear. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you. Oh. And cause a teeny tiny accident on Panico. But why, eventually? Why are you trying to kill? I thought we were. I thought we were besties, sir. <laughs> The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become IPC Fleet's navigator. Teeny tiny boo. Your bluff Teeny tiny incident. Anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. Reminds me of that one tweet of that really down bad JJK fan in reference to uh Nanami. <laughs> None of means episode where they said on Twitter, uh, Haruta stronger than me because if I, because <laughs> if I was there, I'd unzip none of these pants and show Shibuya a real incident. <laughs> oh my god, that tweet was so funny. <laughs> that tweet lives red free in my head. It's so hilarious. <laughs> Sorry, off topic, off topic. <laughs> I'm betting that okay. it's a sweeping victory for Focus. You. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. Oh, so he just wants to, like, destroy the harmony? He won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. Hmm? I came from the wastelands of Sagonia. For just 60 red copper coins, people paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Oh no, sir. Put me in the gallows and bury me in the golden sands. Listen, Aventry, I know. I know you got trauma. I know you got history, but we don't have to take it out on the people, alrighty, sir. But the sun could not kill me. I don't think I don't think this is his true motive. Race of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. I don't. I feel like he's not being completely I've honest here. Been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, "Sleep is the rehearsal of death"? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Is he being real? I can't tell. Friends, the game has commenced. And you I can't tell. choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or crown to. Oh my goodness. You okay, sir? Oh, oh here we go. Whoa, the it turned dark. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it's Black Swan's Ladies bird. Ready to unveil your car. Oh? The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> oh, Sophie's so hot. <laughs> I'm putting down the bet. Oh? I'm taking the gamble. He's taking the gamble. Oh, it's so cool. Whoa. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. For the Excuse me? <laughs> Sir? All right. Let's see who has the last laugh. Let the game begin. Oh, so he used the power of his shattered stone to to have this form. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I'm losing my mind. I okay. I I don't know. I don't know if he's uh what the motives are happening here, but Time is now. dude, he's so cool. The music. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend, crush them. I'll see you off. Dude, the music is so good though. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, this is a boss battle. Shatter, it's nerfed in its actual power? Yeah, that's what I assume. 
Lend me your strength. Since he broke it, so he did lose some of the power. But hey, look, he still looks pretty badass. Not gonna lie. You chose the wrong end. Bloom. Bloom. Assistance is timely. Going all the way. Nothing major. He just throws his coins at us. Everything I got. Oh? Attack as many targets as possible to attain a higher point. <laughs> Eternal step. Dead return! So do we get it? So the more we hit it, the higher the number. Oh! Oh, we have to win the gamble! Oh, we have to get the higher points! Otherwise, I'm assuming he does really big damage? I hope it's not an insta-kill, though. Because then it's RNG. Yo, they actually put RNG in his boss fight? An endless lifespan <laughs> is just a bitter way That's pretty scene. wild. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead return! All will be revealed do, 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 do. in lunar flame. Oh, Blame. whoops. Why did I use Ron May's last? I'm trolling. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking wind. right now. I'm too busy seeing and looking at Avenger <laughs> and thinking about the plot Blame and what's going on. Yo, bro is tanky as hell. Lend me your strength. Stand down. Okay, here we go. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Okay, let's see. Let's Event use this storm. since he's broken. To we can do more damage. Them. Crush them. We'll get in there. Get in there. Get his ass. Down from above. Ow. Existence is unity. You chose the wrong enemy. This battle is unablend me. Okay, here we go. Wait, they really nerfed the fight? Oh. Did it get nerfed? <gasps> Wait, I missed the full I missed the difficult fight. No! It was nerfed yesterday? Oh no! Oh, that's so sad. I wanted to play it without the nerf. Okay, pop off. I guess. Oh, that's sad though. I I would have wanted to play it with the full full damage difficulty. Well, all will be revealed. Oh, it's just like when Tartaglia and Genji came out. People complained that he was too difficult. So they nerfed him. I'm surprised they nerfed him so fast though. Lend me your strength. I feel like you should wait. You know, at least a week. <laughs> Don't just nerf it right away. But I guess they don't target, you know, hardcore players. They're targeting the casual audience, so... Oh goodness, Ron May does not have a lot of... Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. I'll see you off. Oh goodness. Oh, do I have to attack here? I think I do. Ready for death. Branya got six. Okay, Branya wins. Wait, that means Ron May and Luocha take damage. Right? Because they got lower? Box cars. What? Oh, what? <laughs> excuse me. Receive divinity. <laughs> Did he just throw all of his chips at us? Holy crap, dude. What? <laughs> Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, okay, it's fine. Yo! Crush That's so cool! All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Eternal sleep is not the dead return! It wasn't that hard before the nerf, but it's probably because of the fact that I have good characters. Mm. Oh, there he goes. Get shattered. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Some value, I yeah, suppose. my Jinglu's my strongest You'll character. Pay for this. <laughs> Lend me your strength. So I guess it's lucky that they have More ice weakness. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Oh. Oh, I thought he revived. I was like. 
Oh, whoa, what was that? Oh, a teammate kill, true. Always hide your ace with a straight face. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. Oh, boy. <laughs> what are you gonna do against Acheron, though? Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last shit. What's he going on about? Oh, oh, this is that like fake Grand Order summoning armory thingamabob. Is he trying to destroy all of Penalcony? <laughs> Sir? I know you'll match my wager. What? Oh my god. Acheron. <gasps> is Acheron gonna fight him? Holy shit, can we see a duke out? I swear, I swear. Uh, leaving? I swear, they better, they better show us them fighting, or I'm gonna be mad. I will riot. <laughs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Penacone, what do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Hmm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors Who for Who is you. she speaking to? Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Oh, do the Harmony and Nihility have beef? Even if... that's not what I want. Oh, yeah, she was forced to walk Nihility, right? Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands oh? of fate for humans to walk. And together. Oh, so the harmony, I guess, acts differently than the other. Shadow. The other this pads? Shadow silently envelops them. All the other pads I basically try to find people to who interest them, but the harmony is like, nah. We're just going to we're going to control everything from the shadows. There are always those who rise from the shadows. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes, am I the same? You still have a strand of color. A single strand? But not much. <sighs> that is enough. Oh! Oh, is that why when she's in her black and white, she has the red? Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. He's actually destroying Petticoaty. Aventurine! Oh! Oh! I wish to mourn the departed. Oh my god. Weeping like rain. To swell. She's unsheathing! Oh my. Oh, uh, Akron? Oh, they showed it with color this time! As the tide arrives, leading you back home. Holy shit! Yo. Yo, he doesn't stand a chance. I'm sorry, Adventurine. Whoa. Wait. What did she just shatter? Did Aventurine like create a realm? Holy, holy, holy crap! <laughs> Aventurine's like, bro, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Dude, that cinematic was so cool! The way that they did the slow mo and then the silence before the impact. Oh. Oh, his domain expansion got shattered. Acheron destroyed that with her pinky. <laughs> oh my god. That was so cool. What is this place? Oh wait, did Aventurine end up in her realm? Uh, oh. A gigantic black hole. And see. <gasps> oh wait. Is Aventurine standing in front of Nine, the Nihility now? Have I... Have I 
I've succeeded. Wait. Don't tell me Aventurine becomes becomes he starts walking the path of nihility. There's no way, right? She replied, I want to die. Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. I will not lie, I don't really want to walk towards the black hole. That's pretty scary. <laughs> but I do not think I have an option. Feeling lucky. Who is this Your child? Is the most precious wealth. We oh, this is his child self, have. right? I don't want to go towards the black hole. It's scary. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Whoa. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. They sent him into the gulag. Does he have to fight his way out? Get a kill? We will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. Hey, listen. He won the last battle royale he participated in, so I think he has good chances. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Acheron's here. <gasps> Yo! Nobility. Is it? <sighs> Perhaps to you. Yo, show us Acheron from the front. An Who's hiding her identity? I want to see her. I want to see her drip. The sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, up her arms. no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. <laughs> I, I wonder what she's getting at here. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? There's no way he's dead, right? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ayak. <gasps> Yo, Under she looks so cool in this form. We momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. Now, this is the first time I've been able to see her in this form, clearly. Because all of the trailers and stuff obviously have a lot of motion and things going on and effects. She looks so good. It seems that my death has already been determined. Here for sexy mode? Oh yeah. <laughs> Even if you wish for it. <laughs> I can't promise She looks anything. so cool! <laughs> oh my god, I wish there was a way to make her in this mode permanently. What the hell? Now that you've accomplished your goal. She has like tattoos and everything. The cracks? <laughs> what do you mean? Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique. Oh, a fool. Almost everyone. Yeah, so he wasn't being honest. That's what I see. I was like, I feel like he's being dishonest when he's saying that he, that's that was what he wanted, his plan. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths, even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacony's dreamscape. Oh, Wait, so his plan was not to actually destroy Penacony, but to expose the fact that you genuinely cannot die in Penacony. And in order for him to truly do that, he needed Acheron to essentially kill him, because Acheron is like the most powerful entity in Penacony, I'm assuming, or something like that. So that's why he baited Acheron into eventually, I guess, attacking him as well. So his real plan was to expose this fact rather than actually, you know, achieve like death or like whatever, whatever shenanigans that were being implied before. <laughs> Whoa. Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. Oh my God, what is it? To use this dream death to get there. 
to that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacony. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> so, there's another land or level of the dreamscape or something that he's trying to get to? How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key Yo, to connecting Guys, the sound everything. effects, the background, ambiance here. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Our identity? She knows our identity? So she does know us. Because remember when we first arrived, she was saying like, oh, you seem familiar, but she didn't have her memories because they were sealed because she was in a purple form. But when she's in this form, she has all her memories, so she knows. <gasps> oh. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on oh. Pentagoni, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. So the, the land of true Penacony? And lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. Robin? I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Okay, tell me who it is. I, I'm, I'm, I'm dying here in anticipation. Someone who survived the treacherous depths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> is it Robin? Well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound. Is that why Robin's playable? Because <laughs> she survived? Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. <laughs> the only thing that can prove these conjectures is for the family to come clean. <clears throat> and with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems pretty oh clear <laughs> they're intent on covering their tracks. I'm so giddy right now. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. Yeah, so he was he was essentially just trying to bait someone into someone stopping him and killing him. Down the barrier. Since he couldn't find the memory zone meme, he essentially was just trying to bait the the express crew and Acheron into killing him so he can you know, cross over to the other side, I guess. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. How convenient. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. Oh, <gasps> Acheron can save him! Wait, Acheron can remove the death sentence? Ayo, Ayo, Acheron to the rescue, that's my girl. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. <laughs> and that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Oh, is he trying to kill someone? Like someone from the family? Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. Hmm. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. He's literally just gambling. In true 
true gambling addict fashion, he has no backup plan. It's just... It's all up to RNG. Ooh. Oh, is this why eventually kept insisting Aquaman was to blame for the murders? Oh, that may- I mean, that kind of makes sense. So then it's to kind of, I guess, pit? Try to- to force her hand, right? Hmm. She didn't give him the Nihility death sentence, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, but she's able- she's also able to save him, because she said she can remove Harmony's brand. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. <laughs> oh god, still- I- I still- I'm actually quite impressed that he had the guts to break his stone like that. That's still crazy. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Oh, so Akron's like sending him off, being like, good luck, bro. This is what you wanted, now go. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, I have nothing. Guys. Why is Aventurine so cool? <laughs> I went from just liking him to now being obsessed with him. Like, I enjoyed how he looked before, right? And I, I had, you know, I liked his personality. But all of the character building that they've done in this story is insane. Like, I am obsessed with him and his plans and motives and goals, and I want him to succeed in everything that he's trying to accomplish. And this is not me simping. I just genuinely feel like that because they wrote him so well. He's so badass. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. So he's not. Hey, guys. He's not dead. He's not dead. We take those. We take those. I thought he was gonna die, bro. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Before we part, <laughs> can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world if it's just to die? So that you can live before it. I don't think this, and never have. Nor do you. But the Nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. Acheron hates the Nihility, dude. You can tell her frustration just now, in that line, before. But it is still there. Yeah, the big black bo the big black hole. If the dice of fate are always waited, then that is our destiny. Why then do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is Aww. already part of your life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. Oh. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Oh, I did not expect that. <laughs> Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. That's an interesting philosophy. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, oh, the red text. The end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. I still don't know exactly what the red text means, but... I feel like the red text... Does it have to do with when she's talking about the Nihility, maybe? Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. 
Good luck. In his pocket? What's in his pocket? Is it one of- another stone? Oh, true, I forgot about this. <laughs> Doctor's advice. The impossible in the dreamscape is not death, but rather dormancy. Do stay alive. I wish you the best of luck. Why did I, like, hear this in his voice in my head? <laughs> <laughs> then I shall get going. That little chuckle. <laughs> oh? Mister? Oh my god, not the sad music again. You're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. I'm sorry, Kakabasha. I have things to do and places to be. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa. Straight back mama, into the emo? Are you. And Big Sis. Why? Why do they do this to us? Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very. very distant place. The land of the dead. Then are you going to. We're going to a different land of the dead. I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops, and know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. Mm. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Yes, he has, he has plans to put into effect before he can pass on. Preparing? For what? The true final stage. Well, preparing to face them, Kakabasha. And to make them proud. Huh. Hmm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. Oh. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. Cute. <laughs> so cute. But you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. <gasps> oh, they're gonna do the they're gonna do the hand thing again one last time. Before he passes on. What do you say? One last time? Ah, see, see? I know, I know. I see you, Shaoji. Oh? <laughs> A cutscene? Oh, <gasps> the music! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you. Keeping your blood eternally pulsing. This is so cute! May your journey be forever peaceful. He's saying goodbye. Your schemes. Goodbye to his past that's conceal. clinging on. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. <gasps> goodbye, kid. I'm sorry I called you creepy. You were wholesome in the end, okay? But you did look pretty creepy. I still stand by that, but... It's okay, you can be creepy in my heart. Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> it was sad but wholesome at the same time, you know? He's, you know, he's kind of moved on. Moving on to, to do what needs to be done. Oh, okay. With hope for the morrow nestled in my heart, I descend into the slumber of two night. Until the denouement of the all-coming morrows kisses me, I have then embraced the quiet death. But this man is different. He lives and breathes in the present. In every sinking night, by every daring gamble, no vision of morrow ever graced his dreams. His life knows not quietude. His fate yet demands him to win them all. To weather tempests, one after another, till mire enshrouds his very breath. 
And now, in the unfathomable depths of dream, the once falling die has at last landed on its earthly rest. Quietly, peacefully, it at last landed. Aw, this is wholesome. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. Yeah, because he went to the other realm. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. He's on the other side now. Don't worry, he'll make it back. I trust, I trust. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family <gasps> territory. Then... Does this mean we get to see Jade in the future? Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. Start harvesting? What does that mean? Thereafter, in the cradle of slumberers, deep within the sweet dream of the planet of festivities, Another stone begins to radiate light. I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. Oh my god, do we... We get to see... Maybe we see Jade in the next part. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for Jade the gaming to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Hey, yo. Meanwhile, memory zone depths. Oh, we're not done? I thought that was the end. Dot dot dot. You try to open your eyes, but find only blackness before you. Where is this? What happened? And whose POV is this? Ooh. Ooh. They're breaking the fourth wall a little bit here. Hmm. Memories gradually resurface as time rewinds to a few minutes ago. Aventurine unleashes the final assault. Pouring down a dazzling shower of chips, followed closely by Acheron drawing her blade. And then... Crash! The indescribable force severs the power of preservation, while time and space froze instantly. Your thoughts twist into a knot as your senses fail, with only gravity tearing at your mind as you plummet into boundless darkness. Wait, preservation? Is it March? March is preservation. I know Aventurine was also preservation, but... Until a fire engulfs you in your embrace. Yes, I'm aid. I think someone saved me. Doesn't matter. I need to get out of here. Oh, <gasps> Stell! You're awake. Sam! Sam! <laughs> I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Sam? Possibly Firefly? <laughs> and you are just what's happening here. It's you. What have you done? What did Sam do? I didn't do anything but wait for you to wake up. You've met me before. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. I swear to God, if this leaves us with a cliffhanger like the first one, I'm going to be so pissed. If it drops some really big info and then says to be continued, I am actually going to riot. I will. Okay? I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you, but I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times? Eleven Damn. times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined, and it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the... Script. Dude, 11 times? That's some dedication, though. Sam, respect. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. Unforgettable gains? Such as... I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silverwolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at... Only apply to <laughs> villains who need no mercy. Yeah, such as slash slash hack dice chop. <laughs> so, there is only one method that I use. Attack. This oh. is to show you. It is her! It is her! I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That I am. 
I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I was so right. I was so right. I was right, guys. Oh my goodness. I'm a genius. I'm so smart. Oh my god, Gallagher. Gallagher, don't talk to me right now. Guys, guys, I'm so smart. a bit paranoid. What did I say? What did I say? The color scheme? Too similar. The fact that Acheron was talking about their true form earlier while we noticed that he had very similar color schemes with uh, Firefly and between Firefly and Sam. I think the fact that Acheron talked about Sam's true form was the real giveaway, I would say. Because why would she say that? Why would the writers put that in the story if it didn't have significance? Guys. Guys, I told you. I told you she wasn't dead. I was slightly wrong, okay? I was slightly wrong. I said that, oh, maybe Firefly only exists in the dreamscape. But, listen. Listen. I knew she was alive. I knew she wasn't dead. So, hmm, what can I say? What can I say? Let's heck and go, okay? All right. She cooked, I will set the seas ablaze. Yeah, exactly. I, I saw the parallels, right? I talked about how uh, Firefly talked about a scorched earth when she was speaking to us on the roof. And then Sam was saying how he was like, you know, trying to, he was seeing these dreams with fire. So I I was like, this is, there's too, too much similar imagery here. Okay. And then they also have similar visual, visual cues. And then also Act Run mentioned that Sam is not in his true form. So I can pick it up. I see. I see through the veil. <laughs> now imagine all of Sam's battle voice lines but in Firefly's voice. Execution on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Well, hey, that guys, that means that means we do have potential in battle. If Sam does become playable, then it'll maybe we'll be able to swap between Sam and Firefly. Hmm? 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 We got it. We got it. All right. All right. Let's see what the 13 year old has to say. Labyrinth like corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. <laughs> Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? Guys, I think Sunday is so sus. After playing this story, I think Sunday is sus as hell. I think Sunday might be the traitor. I think he might have killed Robin. As much as I don't want to believe it, I think, I think all of the clues thus far are leading towards this outcome. Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> <laughs> Joke's on you, it was I all along. Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often, but I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem is paranoia. Oh. You're just crazy, you know? This is Lunatic. a- Lunatic. This is a very interesting interaction between the two. Gallagher's acting a bit odd, isn't he? You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out But I mean, it's understandable family, what he's been through. accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. Like, I understand him being angry, but this this seems like it's a very different character from what he was showing before. What exactly is making you say all this? Nonsense? I also think Gallagher's sus. You should be more concerned about the outward. Shaoji said he was a regular Pentacony citizen, and I don't believe me. that for a second. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I Black will Swan? know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Oh, he's talking about Aventurine. 
Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. Oh, Gallagher's still working with the current Bloodhound? I mean, the current Watchmaker? If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Oh, they're, they're in combat right now. Isn't that right, my brother? Brother? Are, like, literally... Robin? <sighs> Looks like your disguise... Robin?! You ...successfully understand every facet of the family. Robin's Gallagher?! Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. <sighs> Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. Wait. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. Okay, so it's the not Robin disguised star, as him. The mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending. Or is it? As a security officer. Somehow she can disguise herself super true well. Traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. So this is Robin. Then you she called him brother. invented this facade. And created this person. Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. Enigmata? He didn't finish his voice line. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong, minion on the, of the Enigmata. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 13-year-old. I guess he's not actually 13, because he's not real. You have guts. I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimate Can you, like, confirm that this is Robin, please? Admiral. But so what? Okay, so Can it's not Robin. Why do you call him brother? In that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone meme death are linked. And that's enough. So who is this Gallagher individual? Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. Wretched, despicable dog. Okay, so he does actually care about such <laughs> Robin. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the slander Sunday. I'm in slander. You all patch, calling you, accusing you of murdering your own sister. I'm very sorry, dude. Okay, I I misunderstood. I I was too lost in the sauce. You know, Penacony, writers, story, everyone left me too paranoid. All right. So I took like the smallest hint and I ran with it. I apologize, sir. You truly love your sister now? I understand. I understand. I apologize for my sins. Okay, who are you? Show us. <sighs> Black Swan watching, as per you usual. Know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it. <gasps> Wait, story. isn't it isn't it bootleg? Sorry, okay, boot hill? <laughs> I'll give it to you. Wait, is it Boot Hill? <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. Whoa! Express music cutting in after. <laughs> Guys. 
guys. Everyone I slander. <laughs> Everyone I slander dies. <laughs> Like, okay, now we know that Firefly is not dead for real, but I slandered Firefly in 2.0 and then she got stabbed. I slandered Sunday in 2.1. He gets stabbed. I was the true murderer. <laughs> Wait. Also, why'd they give me a light cone? <laughs> Wait, so the four star character is the big bad? Really? The 13 year old bartender? Guys. Guys. Don't slander him, Aid. You're gonna kill him? Well, he killed so He evidently killed a bunch of people himself, so I would like to argue that, okay, maybe this is the first person that actually deserves it, okay? <laughs> Can you slander a Ventry? No! No, I'm thriving on the fact that he's good, that he's, uh, that he's alive and well, okay? Okay, guys? Oh, what the hell? I don't even know what to say about that. I have no closing thoughts. I'm just... I said from the start, I said from the start that Gallagher was sus, okay? Clearly, Clearly, some people, okay, in the Bloodhounds did know him. However, I found it very suspicious how there were also a lot of Bloodhounds that did not know who Gallagher was. They did not know his name. They just knew that, like, he was there. You know that one guy in particular who was at Dream's Edge? When when we first, uh, we met Gallagher, he introduced himself. He controlled, like, two people he was with. And so they kind of, like, backed up who he was, who he claimed to be. But then we talked to some other bloodhounds and they had no idea who Gallagher was. So I found that really suspicious. And clearly, that was true. Because the only reason that he was able to pretend for so long was because he kind of, like, took took parts from all of the family members and then made them his own so he could like create this character, Gallagher. The girl officer also did not know him. Yeah, exactly. Like the officers themselves. Okay, I, I like believe the two because the officers when they, you remember, when he came up to them and then he told them to leave the leave Firefly alone initially, the, the officers, they didn't even know who he was, but then they believed him. So then that's why I believed him. But then when the other, when the other characters, some of the other bloodhounds that we interacted with were like, oh, I don't know who you're talking about. I was like... Okay, he sus as hell. And then, and then in the 2.1 live stream. Okay, because the thing is, he showed up, right? Gallagher showed up and then he didn't reappear again for the rest of 2.0. And then, so he appeared for a little bit in 2.1. And then, okay. <laughs> but then Shaoji, Shaoji in the live stream said that Gallagher is just an ordinary citizen. And I knew that was Cap. So I knew that Gallagher had some role, but I didn't expect him to like, I didn't expect him to do that. <laughs> What? Oh my god. Well, we have to wait another six weeks, you know, just as per usual, the Pentacone special. Wait, wait, six weeks, play some story, get like three gigantic ass, like super big plot points and surprises at the end, and then to be continued. Now you have to wait another six to seven weeks for the next part. Suffer. Ah, <sighs> wow, okay, that was... That was really... <laughs> that was really, really interesting, okay? <laughs>
Oh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go. I'll go sit on that. We can... We'll chat a, b chat a bit more about <laughs> the rest of the stuff later. Holy shit. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I... Need to go absorb this information. My goodness gracious. Moral of the story, anyone I slander will die. So I have to... This is a lot of power I hold in my hands, okay? So... Any characters in Panacone, if you guys... If I get any flags from you, then you better watch out, because I, I have the power <laughs> within my grasp. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Again, please make sure to like, subscribe, yes. and comment what you guys thought about the story, too. And, oh, yeah. Anyways, I guess see you guys for the next... See you guys next time. <sighs> God damn it, Honkai Star Rail. <laughs>